and uh yesterday on october 18 2020 jc penny closed right here at our fort henry mall located in kingsport tennessee belts over here is one of the main entrance right here they got a main entrance on the other side and how about the beautiful sunset but they are officially closed they closed the same day that, that uh shawnee's dead yesterday so yesterday shawnee's closed in kingsport tennessee for good uh and in, in the place of shawnee's there will be uh, a car wash and i don't know what's going to happen here they also closed uh shawnee's didn't close all the locations they only closed the kingsport X, uh the kingsport store yesterday kingsport restaurant jc penny they closed the same day i'm like man that's a coincidence isn't it or not but it, let's take a little walk over here really ain't much to see i mean we can walk up to the front doors uh you can see there's no traffic there's traffic in all other stores it's on the, today's monday monday october 19th 2020 what a beautiful sunset do you agree but as you can see there's no traffic in and out of the store so they are officially closing kingsport the one in johnson city is still open and uh I will place the camera on my car and let's talk about it. Let me bring the camera around here. And I'll tell you a little bit of history about J.C. Penney. Or I should, I should use a beautiful sunset behind me. What do you say, my friends? Why not use the beautiful sunset? Place the camera on the car. Let me walk back over here and get my coffee. And you can see the sunset in the background. Man, is that awesome? Is that awesome or what? Man, it's awesome. I've got to stop the camera and get a photo of it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome to the Big O Show, the only place to go right here on YouTube. So JC Penny closed today. Uh, monday october 19th 2020 and look at the sunset you can see there's traffic in and out of the other stores but they closed yesterday the same day that shawnee's dead well let's talk about jc penny why not my friends the history i love the history behind the stores behind the restaurants behind the products <clears throat> jc penny uh his real name is james cash penny in case anybody didn't know his real name is james cash penny he was born in hamilton missouri after high school, he moved to Colorado on the advice of a doctor because he had ill health. He had breathing problems. Everybody knows the air center in Colorado. So he was born uh, September 16th, 1875, James Cash Penny. In 1898, after graduating high school, is when he moved to Colorado. He met up with these two other men, and they and, and they brought him in to, to, to their store Okay, he opened, J.C. Penny opened his, up his first store April 14th, 1902 in Kimmerer. It's a K-E-M-M-E-R-E-R, Kimmerer, Kimmerer, Wyoming. So that's when he opened it up in April 14th, 1902 in Kimmerer, Kimmerer, Wyoming, if you can say that. Okay, in uh, 1971, he died at the age of 95. But, but <clears throat> in two years later, after James Cash Penny died, J.C. Penney had their best success was in 1973. In 1973, they operated 2,053 stores. So in 1973, with their 2,053 stores, they made a revenue of $5 billion, which is equivalent to $31.6 billion today. That's a lot of money. If I'd made that much money in 1973, I would have sold the stores and just lived, lived on a, in the mountain somewhere in a cabin the rest of my life. Today, Penny has 840 stores with plans to reduce the stores to 598 by the year of 2022. In May of 2020, this year, J.C. Penny filed for bankruptcy. Last month, September 2020, they sold the company for $800 million to Brookfield Partners, Brookfield Property Partners and Simon Property Group for $800 million. So now we know the rest of the story. So I, I find it interesting. And here's what I, I think is so unique. The guy that was born in uh, September on September 16th, 1875, James Cash Penny. Think of his name, James Cash Penny. 
So it seems like his name was destined for him to go into the money market business. In other words, owning and operating stores. His middle name is Cash. His last name, name was Penny. How fitting is that, my friends? So think about it. In 73, two years after his death, he died in 71 when he was 95. They had 2,053 stores. Today they have 840. They were planning to reduce the stores to 560. I think I said by in two more years. So to go from 2,053 stores to 598 by the year of 2020, that's like 15, what, 15, approximately 1,500 stores they have closed since 1973, up by the next two years. And this year, uh, it's been a real struggle because of the pandemic. They filed for bankruptcy first, like in April of this year, and they ended up selling the stores, the company, in September, like I said, 800 million. So now we know the rest of the story. I always love the history behind the stores, behind the restaurants, behind the products. I hope you enjoy my channel. Please like, comment, subscribe if you have it already. I always be happy, positive, and focused. And remember, my friends, to always do the right thing. Checking out right here at Fort Henry Mall in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. What a wonderful sunset. Goodbye, JC Penny.